Hi friends, Laura here from Laura's Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Templates tool in Cricut Design Space. The Templates tool can be used to help you visualize and size your final project. This can be helpful to make sure your design isn't too big or too small for your project piece. So first you're going to want to click on the Templates tool in the Design panel. This will open up the Templates window. From here, you can scroll through all of the designs and find the one that best matches your project piece. You can also search by category using the drop-down menu, or you can type what you're looking for directly into the search bar. The template I use most often is for t-shirts. I use this to make sure that my iron-on designs will fit my shirt properly. I also use it when I'm creating matching shirts for me and my daughter. I'll create one design and resize them to fit on each of our shirts. So to find all the shirt templates, you're going to type in the word shirt into the search bar. Then choose the shirt that matches yours the best. So for this example, I'm going to choose the scoop neck t-shirt. And you'll notice that once you select your template, you'll see that the alert pops up that the template's not going to be saved with your project. You'll have to add the template back in each time you open your design and design space. It also will not be shared if you share your project URL with another person. So now you can select the type and the size from the drop-down menu. I'm going to choose a women's short sleeve t-shirt in size large. And you can see that the template gets a little bit bigger. And also for shirts, you have the template for the front of the t-shirt and also the back of the t-shirt. So let's say you have a shirt that's not white and you want to see how your project is going to look on your t-shirt. You'll come down here and click on the color swatch next to your template. And then you can choose what color best matches your shirt. If we had already had a design in place, it would pull up all of the project colors. You can choose from the basic color palette or you can type in a hex color code. So we're just gonna choose gray for a gray t-shirt. So now you're ready to add images or text to your shirt. So you're gonna click on the images tool in the design panel. Let's say we wanna create a shirt about our love for coffee. We'll type in the word coffee into the search bar and choose a couple of images like this coffee cup and coffee first, and then click insert images. As you can see, these are going to be way too small to fit on my t-shirt. So from here, you can drag them onto the template and make them as big or as small as you want them. If you decide you no longer want to see your template or you want to change it to a different template, you simply come down here, select your template, and click delete. Say we want to put it on a tote bag instead. We'll type in tote, pull up tote, and now you can see that my, my design is too big for this tote bag. So then I would resize it to fit on the bag. And you can see for this one, there's one style, but you either have the size standard, which is the size that it will just pop up automatically, or you can choose custom, and then you can put in the actual dimensions of your bag. Another cool feature to help you visualize your final project when designing is the blank canvas layer. The default is white, but you can change the color to whatever you like. So we're going to delete the totes template, and then you'll see it down here it says blank canvas, and this is what you start with anytime you open up a new project in Cricut Design Space. To change the color of your canvas, simply click on the color swatch and choose a color. So now I can see what my design would look like on a teal colored project or a pink colored project, or lavender. Now if I want the background to be white again, I can click on the blank canvas and click delete and it will change back to white. Templates are a great tool to help you visualize how your design is going to look on your final project. Check back and subscribe to my channel for more Cricut Design Space Basics tutorials each week.